Okay, so today I'm gonna go ahead and review a heater that I've been using. I've been using it for about uh, six months, I believe, and it's going pretty good. So I thought I'd review it. Reviewing this heater, it's called the Vornado. We purchased it um, to heat just one room. The room is uh, 100 square feet, 10 by 10, uh, 10 feet by 10 feet. That's not that big of a room. And this heater, it could probably heat a bigger room. Um, but uh, yeah, so I'm just gonna go ahead and tell you how that's been going. I'll go ahead and show you it, tell you what I think of it, and yeah, let's get into it. Okay, so right here I have the Vornado, and um, basically it looks like it could be a fan. It's not that, um, not that big of a heater, but it does a good job. And uh, if you set it up to use it, what you'll want to do is um, I have flooring, there's flooring in this house, so I like to put it on the floor. Make sure you've uh, cleaned the floor, there's no debris or papers, especially you don't want any papers around this. Ideally, you want it three feet away from anything. Um, and I think it said that it's like less likely to uh, tip over. And of course, if you have it tip over, you don't want any heater on in general. Um, supposedly, it's supposed to be fine on a carpet, I believe, but I don't know, you'd have to check into that. I just keep it on on the floor, nice and safe. Um, safe place to put it on the floor. And uh, I'll go ahead and show you. This right here is the power button. So for me, I have this actually, I have it hooked up since I have a daughter. I have a, an outlet over there that basically I, I have a switch. I can turn the switch on and off. So as you can see, I turned it on. So I can just go ahead and shut that off so that she can't be trying to turn it on but anyways so yeah this is the power switch it's so simple you can just turn it on like that this is the quick um quick warm up or something i don't know what they call it and you can select your temperature here uh plus for in increasing minus for you know cooler and it's not an air conditioner anyways so this uh, you just press it once and it'll be one hour I just an hour was usually enough and that's what it sounds like while it's on so it's not super loud but it does have a humming sound um, so it, it's supposed to circulate the air while it's on so it'll like right now it it's not circulating so much it's more doing a heating and then it'll put a fan to help circulate the air in the room because that's this idea this this heater can work as a fan in the summer so that that's cool um i think it's about maybe maybe a foot in height Yes, yeah, so I believe it's about a foot in height because when I put my shoe next to it, it's just maybe a little bit higher. So it's probably about a foot tall. And as far as width, it is, let's see, back to my shoe, I know. <laughs> uh, its width is probably a little less than a foot or a little bit less than its height. So it's, it's pretty small, but it does a good job. Um, it does have a slight humming sound, but it doesn't seem to keep my daughter awake while it's on. Um, within an hour, I'd say it definitely heats up the room. Usually I only need, it, I don't need it to heat it up that much more. Um, at most, I've only put it up more by like maybe five degrees more. But I think like if you needed it to heat up the room more than that, then... I'd probably do a good job. Um, it's a good price for a little, you know, individual room heater. So to switch it off, you just, all you have to do 
is you just push that same power button that you push to turn it on and then it'll take about three seconds it'll count down three two one i believe it is and then you'll hear a little fan and then that's it it's off so it's very simple in that way um there was like at the very beginning it did smell like plastic i mean seriously who wants to smell plastic i mean it's whatever it's not it was tolerable at least for me but yeah for the first maybe 10 times or less it does smell like plastic it doesn't smell like plastic anymore um we had figured okay if it keeps smelling like plastic we'll return it it doesn't anymore um it is made out of plastic so um yeah but yeah that was more like just at the beginning and i'm keeping it i'm not gonna return it um i do like it it does do a good job it's way better than not having a room fit um a room heater um and it can be used as a fan in the summer so yeah i like it i would if I didn't have one, I would just go get one. It's a good one. It's good. It's a good price. Good size. Um, does the job. I don't see why not. Initially, I wanted like a a different one made out of like steel or something like that. But it was. I believe it costed more. So we just got this one, and it does a good job. Um, so yeah. So it's a plus, you know, you, you have a, a baby or a kid, you definitely want the room to stay warm enough, at least that's how, um, why we got it, and there we go, yeah, so, and negatives, I'm thinking if there's a negative to it, I guess initially when we first got it, and it smelled like plastic, that was a negative, I guess, but it, it did go away, so it wasn't an issue, um, yeah, I haven't tried a whole lot of room heaters. There was this other one. Well, okay, there were probably two. There's a uh, Lasco. It looks like a fan. I've been around that one. That one was fine. And then there was another one. It had, like, it was made out of steel. I'm not sure what brand it was, but that one was costed more. So, but the Lasco was a tall one, and it would take up more room. This one's more compact, so that's better for me. So yeah, it's a good room heater. If you're looking for a room heater, you could try it. I know for me, like I like reviews and that's why I'm, I'm doing the reviews. Sometimes I like to look up products. I don't want to have to like go and buy it and find out what it's really like. You know, it's much easier just to look up reviews, figure out what people like and not like about it. And then I can figure out like, hey, I want it, I don't want it, or which one's going to be best for me and whatever I'm using it. So anyways, if you like the video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. Also, check out the other videos I may have. If you're curious, I have mommy vlogs, um, some recipes, and workout videos. Alright, bye-bye.